As far as I can remember, my parents were always fighting. Yeah. ¿Qué quiere? ¿La comida? ¿No está la comida? ¿Cuál comida? Yo no hice de comer hoy. Pues si ya tengo hambre. No, no, no hago de comer hoy porque me duele mi cabeza. Y déjame en paz, tú te puedes levantar y hacerte un plato. Acabo de llegar de trabajar y así me recibes. Levántate, Tra tú tienes dos manos. Hazte una sopa maruchan. Trabajo Déjame duro. Paz. Trabajo duro. Sí, ¿Y para qué? Duro. ¿Para qué? Para que no haya comida hecha. Me, no me importa. ¿Qué hiciste todo el día? No hice nada. No, no hiciste nada. nada, nada. Siempre. No, nada. Siempre no haces nada. Y ya. Y la casa está limpia. La casa no está limpia, no hay comida. Entonces, ¿qué ahora? ¿Qué voy a comer? Una maruchan, ya te dije. Y ya no estés gritando que levantas a la niña. ¿Sabes qué? Ya, ya me cansé, ya estoy harto. Ya me voy. Ya vete. Y no regreses, por favor. My mom had to work a lot and would leave me with different family members and they all mistreated me. I'm gonna have a school parade and I'm gonna wear my costume. Okay, and? And I just wanted to let you know to see if you were coming. Not with you. No one cared about me and no one bothered to give me any attention. Because of trauma, as I got older, I tried distracting myself from reality when I was falling into a deep depression. to smoke by my sister. I never thought that I would get influenced by anyone to start smoking. Deep down inside me, I knew that this environment wasn't for me. But I let myself be influenced.
From that moment on, smoking became my daily thing. I would smoke in the morning, at school, at home. I smoked anytime, anywhere. At school, I would act out because that was the only way I received any attention. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Do I need to call your parents again, Samantha? Mm-hmm. This is the third time. Go for it. Do I need to send you to the principal's office again? Go for it. I just want to teach the class, Samantha. What do you want from me? <laughs> you're staying in the class. Go to the principal. I want you to go to the Both of you, both of you, get out of here. Go, 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 go. I didn't give any attention in school because I was distracted with the void that I had in me. Girl, what are you gonna do? Girl, what are you gonna do? Stop with your little attitude. What attitude? And pay attention. What? It's way worse than me. So okay. be quiet. And pay what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Girl, be quiet. Girl, star. What's the matter? What? what? Stop this. Okay? What? 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 I'm gonna send you to the principal's office if I hear from you one more time. Do it. Later. Yeah. So, if you have a triangle, it's got the length. Girl, don't put more paper behind me. Ladies, girl, ladies, you act so dumb. Ladies, and what are you gonna do about it? Ladies, girl, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Girl, hey, don't hey. look at me. Don't you hey. Samantha, so Samantha, go to the office right now. Just I go. Get out of here. Girl, don't be hey. Hey. Oh. Oh. Bro, get off your phone and go do something. Why don't you go do it? Because you have to go do it. Okay, well you can go do something too. Mom told me to tell you you to go do it. Well you go do it. You're so annoying. I can't let you. Dude, don't ever lay hands on me first of all. Don't ever touch me. Why do you have a sister like you? Dude, I hate you. I hate you more. You're so useless. You never want to help in the house. Why are you even here? Why were you even born? Just go kill yourself already. Samantha, what are you doing? Come on, Samantha, I was just kidding. Samantha, Samantha, bro, stop day was the day that I attempted suicide. After that, my mom got invited to church and she would drag me with her. Ya llegamos a la iglesia. No, me voy a bajar. Hay que bajarme, Samantha. No me quiero bajar. Obedece, Samantha. No quiero ir. Se va a hacer tarde, ya van a ser las siete. Ok, Juan, bueno, yo no me quiero bajar. Vamos a estar tarde. Ok, yo no voy a entrar. Vamos a bajarnos, Samantha. Ya te dije que no voy a entrar. Ok, ¿no me te quiero quieres quedar, bajar? No me quiero quedar en el carro. Ok, ¿no te quieres bajar? No. No quieres obedecer, Samantha. No. Ok, dame tu teléfono. No. Dame tu teléfono. Es mío. Dámelo. Y nos vamos a bajar. I didn't like the whole church idea. I thought it was for old people and it was really boring. None of the words that Pastor spoke about would interest me, and my mind would go blank. I was invited multiple times to the YPG, and I would always deny the invitation. One day I came to service without being forced, and on that day, Pastor mentioned that those who were tired of living the way they were living to go up front onto the altar and do a prayer. 
entonces vamos a hacer una oración, pónganse de pie, y los que quieren tomar esta decisión de entregarse completamente, acérquense en la altar. That was the first time that I was able to pray. And in that prayer, I told God, if he wasn't going to change my life around, to take me instead, because I was tired of living the life that I was living. From that prayer on, God changed my life around. From being the person who I was filled with depression, traumas, anxiety, and addictions, encontré el verdadero amor.